We do it, uh, but uh, for every structure, it has, own, it has its own norm. Just uh, to construct, for example, check dam, this amount of people uh, needs per day. And to construct one kilometer of uh, bend or terrace, it needs 150 people per day. So uh, based on that, uh, we uh, calculate their cash flow. That is the, it. He mentions the, ca the productive safety net program, yes. uh, which is both a cash for work and, and food for work food for program. Yes. Yeah. It would be uh, for Ethiopia probably its uh, largest flagship program, mm -hmm. and it targets overall nationally, I think, upwards of uh, about 8 million people. Yeah. And uh, Canada, the government of Canada, its single biggest commitment to Ethiopia mm. is to the Productive Safety Net Program. Mm. I think they spend about $75 million mm -hmm. per year supporting the government's Productive Safety Net Program. Mm. Huge, huge program. Mm. I think they, uh, it's about a 600, uh, in US dollar terms, about $600 million per year. Mm. A huge, huge program. And uh, the idea of the Productive Safety Net Program is mm. that uh, it will target all these uh, regions, including this particular Kebele or township, uh, which is considered uh, by an assessment to be chronically mm. food insecure. And a chronic food insecure population is a population where production an income isn't sufficient to feed the family for the full year on an ongoing basis mm -hmm. and so that's the justification uh, for this response and so uh, when Migbaris and I is uh, wishing to engage in, uh, in this type of activity they will have to coordinate with the local government mm -hmm. to make sure that what the government is planning and what they're planning to do are coordinated. Mm -hmm.